Hi there and welcome here to this video talking about uh, my experience as a facilitator here. Um, over the years I've uh, given people experiences under light machines such as the RX-1 by Roxiva which you can see behind me sort of with the lamp pointing down as well as gongs which are sound healing tools when played uh, produce a very uh, beautiful uh, brainwave entrainment and relaxation a, a bathing of vibrations and frequencies throughout the body and mind. Uh, the, the light machine does something similar to, it helps to change um, unique brainwave patterns to desired states of consciousness, be that many different brainwave states such as epsilon, delta, alpha, beta, theta, gamma, hypergamma, lambda, or selfigio uh, frequencies also. These are designed to entrain the mind and the body to access emotions, to access deep trauma and clear them, um, or deep journeying for healing. Um, or having a very uh, powerful uh, spiritual experience too, which I've, I've heard. So the, the many, over the years I, we've been here, we've been here for over 17 years, and in the past 10, 12 or so years, I've hosted a number of retreats, done healings, uh, but especially been designed um, and involved with light and sound journeys for people to experience. And I've heard and seen so many different stories and experiences from people uh, as a facilitator offering uh, this space. Um, people have had out-of-body experiences, uh, deep dreams within minutes. Um, people have noticed that they're after the events that um, they have had the best night's sleep ever. Uh, they've had more energy, more clarity. Um, I've seen people cry many times, which has been beautiful. I'm like, wow, okay, they're crying. They're releasing, you know. Um, what have experiences have I heard is, is a lot. It's very meeting guides, uh, loved ones as well. Um, for example, one lady who, who turned up and um, her husband had died and uh, she felt contact with him and she felt very emotional after. Um, there's been also, also lots of other experiences, you know, very pleasurable ones. Um, happiness, sadness, you know, as in like releasing trauma. People have had to go out for a walk for, for a bit and process what's happened. Um, because I guess like plant medicines, this has a very similar effect. Like DMT has a very similar molecule, uh, molecular structure to serotonin. So serotonin and DMT, dimethyltryptamine, which is the active component, one of the active components in ayahuasca, as well as taking DMT straight can produce um, our body experiences. So um, these experiences can really be very powerful and uh, spiritual for, for many people. Um, so it's beautiful to uh, see this change in people too, where they um, really get a lot out of um, the, the experience and feel um, that it's really changed their lives. And that's changed me too, to know that my wish and my dream is to help people feel more uh, happy and have an experience and feel a lot more lighter using light itself. So when you use light and these sound healing tools, it can really help shift people's consciousness and awareness um, to states where they can't access themselves, they need something uh, beyond them. And these tools that I use enable to path the way for a much deeper, meaningful experience. For many years, I was doing a platform mediumship and healings uh, across the, the UK. Uh, so going to spiritualist churches with a, a couple of mediums um, who would take me, you know, under their wing <laughs> and, um, you know, do, do mediumship. And as much as I loved that, I was getting good results. But I felt what I'm doing now is a lot more meaningful. That when you have an experience yourself, it's unique to yourself. And rather than me giving you a message about something that perhaps you understand or, you know, when you have the direct communication, that direct experience yourself, it is a lot more powerful. So um, this is why what I do, I focus, I use my, I guess, my intuitive, um, my intuitive senses to um, facilitate each group differently and tune into it and, and guide people. Um, but I don't give messages anymore. I give a bit of more guidance and allow this space in this healing space for people to journey together. And the group environments are beautiful, that people 
come together as a group collective and that group collective is, a, is an abundance of energy because it's not just those people physically in the room, there's a number of guides and ancestors and spirit helpers and non-physical friends that are in the locale environment that are assisting in this uh, healing experience and this group energy. So um, yeah, this is a setup behind behind me here um, where all the magic happens. Uh, people lay down with the light machines, the gongs, and um, I'm hoping that they have beautiful experiences, which I have a lot of great feedback. Um, and in the process, when we do the sharing at the end, then I ask for you know feedback of how it could be you know better next time or what you don't feel worked because only the, these events get better through time. They mature through the attendees. And um, I learn from, from you, from people who take part and um, give their experience too. And I know, I'm hoping I know what is giving a good experience to many people. But the feedback is, has been amazing. It's been beautiful. And um, yeah, you can check out the testimonials down in the link below. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And um, I look forward to seeing you and hearing you in the next one.